Well, if you were in downtown Little Rock's MacArthur Park just four years ago, you would have likely been standing within eyesight of the Arkansas Arts Center, a mid-century building that was struggling to keep up with modern times, architecturally at least. Four years later, there's a new name, the Arkansas Museum of Fine Arts. There's a new executive director, Victoria Ramirez, and there is certainly a stunning new building where the old art center once stood. It is both architecture and art. This incredible new space for the art of the museum is the brainchild of many visionaries, ranging from architects, artists, contractors, and business leaders, but none more visionary or dedicated than Harriet and Warren Stevens. Yes, the Stevens of Stevens Inc., whose commercial and philanthropic endeavors are expansive and legendary. The Arkansas Museum of Fine Arts may be the most impressive and everlasting of all their accomplishments. Harriet and Warren Stevens were kind enough to sit down with me in the Townsend Wolf Gallery after I toured the museum earlier this week. I can tell you that when you walk through this artistic structure, you will share a sense of awe and a sense of Arkansas pride. I feel enormous pride that we have the, the design team, which includes the contractors and the architects and the building committee, of course, um, have all delivered a building that I think is just extraordinary. And we, we wanted to, to frankly, it, to be the best it could be. And um, so that's, that's a sense of pride. But the main sense of pride is that we were doing that for all those people that believe in this place. Mm -hmm. And I have a lot of pride that they invested in this the way they have and that we're now turning it back over to them, you know, in the fashion that it is. I'm not going to ask you if there's anything you'd change, because if you haven't changed it by now, after <laughs> all these years, I'm going to assume it couldn't be changed uh, because the things went very well on that. Uh, Victoria Ramirez, the executive director here, said at the uh, media announcement on Tuesday of this week, uh, this is a place for art and a place for people. Tell me what you think she means by that. Well, I believe that. I mean, and actually, it's interesting because Townsend Wolf used to say that too. He said, this is a museum that brings people and art together. I remember that from four years ago. And she's exactly right. Um, and I think the museum will do that more than ever now because we have created such unbelievable spaces for people just to gather. You know, they don't... They don't have to go into the galleries. They don't have to go into the art school or the, or the performing arts theater. They can come to the cultural living room. They can go to the restaurant. They can go out back in the, well, out on the south side in the park. Um, they can enjoy just being in the Blossom or the atrium. You know, it's just, it's gonna be a hub. You know, but that's why we call it the cultural living room because it's just gonna be a, a cultural hub, I hope, yeah. for, for people to gather. We are in the Townsend Wolf Gallery, which has some Jackson T. Stevens artwork in it. Tell me a little bit about maybe what's over your shoulder and what's around in here and, and the importance of Townsend Wolf to this museum and the fact that your father, uh, your father-in-law, has some of this incredibly world-famous art that's in here. Well, I'll, I'll start, um, you know, with Townsend, I, I think Townsend is the most important person in the history of the now Arkansas Museum of Fine Arts because he set us on a path to collect drawings and works on paper. And he was he was a rare combination. He 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 knew art, but he knew an income statement, he knew balance sheets, he knew where every penny was where it went, what it was spent on, but he also had a keen eye, keen eye for art, and and you know Townsend took us from. I wasn't here when Townsend was hired, but what I'm told is it was a pretty unfocused collection, not, you know, not really good at anything, and when Townsend retired, we we are a we have a world class collection of works on paper and that is 100% because of his focus and his eye. Um, many, many of the works we've got on paper, the artists weren't well known. Townsend knew they were really good yeah. and, uh, and started buying them for the museum or recommending that the foundation buy them. And, and, uh, 
you know, some of them have gone on to become quite, quite well known. But it's it's really fitting that we're in here um, with with surrounded by a lot of what is was Dad's art and is now on loan here to the museum because Townsend helped him acquire a lot of it and yeah. and was was his advisor. You, you guys hear chatter across the country and maybe even across the, um, the globe. What do you think the Museum of Fine Arts now means for Arkansas in terms of the world of art? I mean, will we see people coming here as a, this for a destination um, in a, on a much bigger scale than what it was before um, this renovation? I would think so. Yeah, I, I, think I, so. I would think so. It's a combination of the architecture stunning um, there's a lot to do in art in Arkansas with Crystal Bridges and others, but there's also the Clinton Library and there, there's just a lot, there's a lot going on that people will want to come to see, I, I, is, my, is my view of that. But I know if I, and, and we do do this, we, when we travel, not every time, but a lot of times we'll say, well, come on, we're going to have a museum day and we're going to go, but if we, I think once the reviews get out on this and the building and, and the art in the building and what all we offer, I think people will say, you know, we need to go see that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, even prior to opening, I mean, we were already written up in architectural and art magazines and, um, you know, and, recent, and recently in like Architectural Digest and Town and & Country, and major magazines are, are picking us up and of course we saw the if yesterday in the press that came and the interest in both the building and then they came back to see the art, you know, they, I think they're coming back this afternoon, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. If that's any indication, I think it'll happen.